Hi everybody, today I'm making a very special meal, Hainanese chicken rice. Okay, in a large pot, I have my chicken stock and I'm adding some mushrooms, some spring onions, some garlic, some ginger and I season it with a little bit of salt. Bring that up to a boil and once it starts boiling, you add in your chicken. So make sure your pot is big enough to put in your chicken. If not, get a bigger pot. Then you just want to let that kind of bubble away and once you see a little bit of scum rises up to the top, just remove it with a spoon. Then once it starts bubbling, close the lid, let that bubble on a medium to low heat for about 15 minutes. Then you want to just turn the fire off and set it aside to chill for another 15 minutes or so. In a pan, we're cooking the rice now. So add in some oil and I've reserved some of the chicken fat and chicken skin. Just swirl that around in the wok. Then add in lots of chopped up ginger as well as garlic. Um, just fry that for 30 seconds then add in your light soy sauce. I'm using gluten-free soy sauce today. Then we've, I've added some washed uh, basmati rice and we want to stir fry that until you can hear the rice kind of crackle and it's really nice and dry. Now it's time to add your rice into your rice pot. I'm using 4 cups of rice here. So to that I'm going to add in 9 ladles of chicken stock from the chicken broth that we made earlier. Once you kind of mix that all around, you can add a little bit of salt but I think there's enough salt in this dish already. So then we just put it into the rice cooker and let that cook. Next, we're going to make the chilli sauce. So in a little pot, I've added some oil. Then here I have some blended items of garlic, ginger, onion, as well as fresh red chilies. And then you want to season it with a little bit of salt, some sugar, and also some vinegar. I'm using apple cider vinegar today. Swirl that around, let that bubble about for about 5 minutes. Once it thickens up, you can set it aside. Now we're making the soy sauce to go on the chicken. We've got some oyster sauce, some light soy sauce, as well as sesame oil. And then we want to season with a little bit of salt, some sugar as well, and then a little bit of white pepper. Next, we're going to ladle in 2 ladles of the chicken stock. Give that a little swirl around and then your soy sauce is ready. Now we're going to prep the chicken. So the chicken's been chilling in the hot broth for about 15 minutes. Now we're going to put it in a cold bath to like kind of chill for about 5 minutes. Then after that, you're going to set it on your chopping board and we're going to start cutting up the chicken. I like to cut up the chicken, you know, removing the thighs and the drumsticks first. And then after that, I go on to the wings. After the wings, then I kind of like go on to the breast meat area, so the white meat area. And then I just give it a nice easy slice so it's a lot easier for your families to help themselves. Um, don't throw away the chicken carcass, you can always use that for a porridge or a soup uh, for the next day. Then you want to drizzle all that lovely soy sauce on top and then your lunch or dinner is served. And there you have it, you've got your chicken, your rice, I've got some stir-fried veggies here and the sauces. Enjoy guys!